Now, let me discuss the individual anti-epileptic drugs that is barbiturates. So, if you take the barbiturates, the examples of these barbiturates which are acting as anti-epileptic drugs, they include phenobarbitone and the other drug is primidone. Right, the other drug is primidone. So, these two act as anti-convulsant drugs. Now, what these two drugs will do? Remember, these two drugs, they act as anti-convulsant drugs due to GABA mimetic property. Right, these two drugs, they have anti-convulsant property due to GABA mimetic activity. That is gamma amino butyric acid activity. Now, what is your GABA? GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So, what these two drugs will do? They will behave as GABA and thereby they will increase the inhibitory neurotransmission within the cerebral neurons and thereby the epilepsy will be reduced. Alright. So, these two drugs, they have GABA mimetic activity as well as the GABA facilitatory property. Right, GABA mimetic activity and as well as GABA facilitatory properties. Alright, next. Now, remember these drugs, what they do exactly? One, definitely they are increasing the GABA levels and thereby acting as the inhibitory neurotransmitters. And the other thing is, these drugs that is phenobarbitone and as well as primidone, they will also increase the duration of opening of chloride channels. Alright, what they do? These drugs will also increase the duration of opening of the chloride channels. Alright. So, remember, once they increase the duration of the opening of the chloride channels, more and more chloride will enter into the cell. Once the more and more chloride enters into the cell, remember, the chloride is a negative ion. So, it will reduce the neuronal activity and thereby the epilepsy can be reduced. And remember, where do we use these particular drugs? That means, in which type of epilepsies we use these drugs? These phenobarbitones or barbiturates, they can be used in generalized tonic clonic seizures that is in case of generalized epilepsies we can use and these can also be used in case of partial seizures. So, these drugs that is phenobarbitone and as well as primidone they can be used in the following types of epilepsies. They are useful in case of generalized tonic clonic seizures and they are also useful in case of the partial seizures. And the important adverse effects with these particular drugs are these barbiturates, the adverse effects is, they are highly sedative drugs. Alright, these are highly sedative drugs, but tolerance develops to this particular effect. Right, tolerance develops to this particular effect. Now, what do you mean by the tolerance? Normally, whenever the individual takes this particular, the barbiturates for one time or two times, these barbiturates will cause sedation. But the individual keeps on taking these barbiturates repeatedly, then the individual will develop tolerance to this particular sedative effect. That means, after a period of time, there will be no sedation with these barbiturates when the individual starts taking these barbiturates repeatedly. So, these drugs are highly sedating, but tolerance developed to this particular effect. Now, an important point what you need to remember about the barbiturates is, there is one very important contraindication of the barbiturates. So, remember, these barbiturates, they are contraindicated, right, they are contraindicated in case of acute intermittent porphyria. Alright. They are contraindicated in case of acute intermittent porphyria. And these drugs normally they will suppress the abnormal neuronal activity and they are useful for treatment of epilepsy. But these drugs can cause paradoxical excitation in some patients. Right? These drugs can cause paradoxical excitation in some patients.
all right next now there is one very important multiple choice question about the phenobarbitone phenobarbitone this is considered as drug of choice in gtcs for infants remember this point phenobarbitone this is considered as drug of choice in generalized chronic clonic epilepsy for infants but the same phenobarbitone it will cause hyperkinesia in older children right this phenobarbitone it will cause hyperkinesia in older children right it will cause hyperkinesia in older children so these are some of the very important points about your barbiturates so remember barbiturates what we have is phenobarbitone and as well as primidone this phenobarbitone and primidone they have gaba mimetic and as well as gaba facilitatory property and they will also increase the duration of the opening of the chloride channels this phenobarbitone and as well as primidone they are used in generalized tonic clonic seizures and as well as the partial seizures the adverse effects of this barbiturates is they are highly sedative property right they cause very high sedation once the individual is taking this phenobarbitone and as well as primidone but the point is they develop the tolerance to this particular drugs once the individual takes these drugs repeatedly and the barbiturates remember they are contraindicated in patients with the acute inter acute intermittent porphyria because these barbiturates will precipitate porphyria in these patients and in majority of the individuals this phenobarbitone or this barbiturates will suppress the abnormal neuronal discharge but in some persons they will cause the paradoxical excitation and the very important mcq regarding the phenobarbitone is it is a drug of choice in generalized tonic clonic seizures in infants but this phenobarbitone it can cause hyperkinesia in older children so this is about your barbiturates